Tacovas has become one of the most popular cowboy boot brands over the past five to 10 years, thanks in part to releasing nice quality boots at reasonable prices, but mostly because of their enormous advertising strategy and budget. Today, I wanna to talk about three things that they can do better. And I'm not coming at this as being like a negative guy or you know, trying to bring all of you Tacovas fans down. I want to see Tacovas do more because they've done so much already positive for the cowboy boot industry. So I'm gonna start with the number one thing that they can do better is offer international shipping. One of the biggest complaints that I see from you guys in my comment section concerning Tacovas is that they don't offer international shipping. So many of you, even in Canada, can't get Tacovas, which seems pretty silly because somebody in Whitefish, Montana can get Tacovas, but not <laughs> right over the line in Canada. That's international laws for you, but Tacovas has the resources to make it possible. I'm gonna keep coming back to the fact that Tacovas has huge investors and they're running their company like a marketing company or a tech company by doing so much marketing online and through TV. Their advertisements are everywhere. And this last year, Tacovas had $56 million raised in order to expand even more. So why not take some of that money and just invest it a little bit into figuring out international shipping? Maybe you don't have to do the free shipping and returns that you do here in the US, but right now Tacovas won't offer international shipping at all. Yes, I realize there are supply chain issues and shipping issues all over the place, but if Tacovas wanted to really grow and really make a legacy for their brand worldwide and take their brand to the next level, I think international shipping would be a great way to start. The second thing that Tacovas can do better is offer more sizes. Tacovas already offers a lot of sizes, including size 15 in some of their models, but I'm not talking about the shoe size, I'm talking about width size. Tacovas only offers D and double E widths. D is average, double E is wide. However, there are several more widths. It goes from narrow A, B, C, those are the narrow widths, and then D is average, E is wide, and then there's triple E and even more. You can go from quadruple A, which is really narrow, all the way up to quadruple E, which is really wide, and even more. I mean, there's some companies out there who have F widths. I'm not saying that Tacovas needs to dive in and do all of those widths immediately, but to start out with a men's B width, would be a great position to start. And I'm gonna be selfish for a minute because technically my true size is a 12B. So I've never been able to find a Tacova's boot that's comfortable for me, but if they were able to do a B width, I would love to try that. A lot of you guys out there are also narrow-footed people, but you don't even know it because there aren't very many brands out there offering narrow width sizes for cowboy boots. But if we go back to the golden age of cowboy boots in the 70s and 80s, you could find tons of different widths from quadruple A to quadruple E, especially from Nakona. And I think Tacovas should take over the position that Nakona used to have in the 70s, 80s, and 90s by offering all of those widths today. Every year, people are saying, cowboy boots are trending, cowboy boots are trending, oh my gosh, Cowboy boots are finally trending, and they've been saying that since 2018, and it's only getting more and more popular. So I think we're on the verge of another golden age. And if Tacovas came out with narrow widths, more widths for more of you ladies and guys out there, I think they would cement the foundation for their legacy decades from now, just like Nakona did way back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Nakona is still living off of those glory days, even though their boots don't even come close to the quality that they used to be. It is definitely an expense to invest in those B width lasts for men, or A width lasts, or you know quadruple E lasts if they wanted to go there. Lasts are the shape of the foot that they build the boot around, and you need those specific shapes in order to make the specific boot. They needed an 11D size last to build 
this boot. So if they were able to get a 12B selfishly, then they would be able to make a 12B boot. So you would need a range of lasts. It is an investment, but they just raised $56 million this year. Why not take some of that money and invest in more sizes, more widths for you folks out there. Thirdly, I think that they could educate their customers a little bit better. Tacova spends so much money, so much money on advertisements. Give me a break from the Tacova's advertisements and let's see you educate customers on fit. Maybe then they would understand what a narrow width size means, how to find the best fitting cowboy boot for them, and when you educate customers, when you educate people and help them find a proper fitting boot or help them find anything that brings value to their life, that is legacy right there. That means so much more than digital advertising or commercials. Right now, Tacova's legacy is all in the advertising. If they stopped advertising tomorrow, online, on Facebook, on commercials, we would forget about them so fast because so many other brands are advertising to us on a regular basis. But if they started educating their consumers and bringing more value to them online through YouTube videos, things like I do with how to condition boots or things like that, then their legacy is so much more embedded in society other than just advertisements. Tacovas has already done so much to grow the popularity of cowboy boots, but I think they can do so much more. What do you guys think? I wanna know if there's anything else that you think Tacovas could do better in the future, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Tacovas can do more. I wonder what they have in store. And I hope they play for legacy, cause it's the only thing worth playing for. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanted you to check out this video up here about where Tacovas are made. Or I got a music video down here you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.